of the House uh, Foreign Affairs Committee, Ed Royce, is here in the Situation Room with us. Mr. Chairman, thanks very much for joining us. Uh, you've heard the news. Evan uh, reported it. The U.S. government has now determined North Korea did it. They're responsible. Your reaction? Well, Bureau 121 uh, obviously was involved in it. Bureau, and explain what Bureau 121 is. That is the elite uh, bureau dedicated to hacking, but it's not just... In North Korea. In North Korea. But we have to remember, Wolf, they're also good at hacking into infrastructure. The energy grid. I mean, there is a lot of infrastructure at risk here. One of the things we did do in Congress, you know, just in the last 24 hours, Congress finally got out those last four cybersecurity pieces of legislation. Now, I hope we move instantly to protecting the grid. But secondarily, I hope we take a look again at what we could do to keep North Korea out of the financial system by passing the types of sanctions we once slapped on them, which almost imploded the regime. We should look at that. Have you heard from U.S. officials the same thing that Evan Perez has heard, that North Korea did it? What I have heard are concerns, or what I have heard from U.S. officials is that this was done by a foreign government at the behest of a foreign government. And obviously, we've, we've received information uh, about this particular bureau, 121. So I think uh, we're, we're awaiting the formal announcement by the U.S. government, but it's, it's very clear that North Korea did this. And it's also very clear that North Korea has used its hackers to penetrate or to attempt to get information about our energy grid and other, our, other, other targets here in the United States. So you're worried, and I just want to be precise, that North Korea would have the capability of, what, damaging, destroying, undermining the energy grid of the United States? There's two things I'm worried about. First is North Korea targeting our energy grid. And second, North Korea finally managing to get that nuclear weapon, which they have, uh, onto the cone, which they've been testing, of a three-stage ICBM missile and, and obtain that delivery capability. Do, do you also believe that North Korea was responsible for these threats over the past two days, that if people go to see this movie at theaters in the United States, they potentially could face another 9-11 terror attack. Yes, absolutely. You believe North Korea made those North threats? North Korea made those threats, and on top of it, not too long ago, uh, maybe a year or so ago, North Korea released a, a uh, official document, or uh, uh, it was a VCR that they put together, in which they showed a missile coming in and hitting Washington, D.C., and the capital blowing up, uh, and they put that out on the net, and that was done by North Korea as a form of a threat. But, but these are real threats, credible threats, or just propaganda? Well, up until now, a lot of it's been propaganda. But the, the fact that they're issuing these threats now, um, and the fact that they're moving forward with their, with their weapons program to try to de deliver uh, an ICBM capability, you know, with a nuclear warhead in the cone, uh, this, this really takes it to a new level in terms of dealing with the, uh, uh, with the Kim family in North Korea. Kim Jong-un, uh, the leader of North Korea, and tomorrow presumably we'll hear this announcement from the United States government, the Justice Department, the FBI, saying North Korea is responsible for the cyber attack, presumably for the threats about another 9-11 if people go to see these films. And as you know, Sony Pictures have now pulled it. They're not going to be distributing the, this film. They killed the premiere and all of that. Uh, so what does the U.S. do about this? My suggestion is that we do exactly what we did when uh, Stuart Levy, Undersecretary of the Treasury, found North Korea counterfeiting $100 bills. And at that point, he sanctioned the, the financial uh, banks that were doing, doing business with North Korea. Within a matter of weeks, the North Koreans, within six weeks, could no longer pay their generals. They had to shut down shortly after that their weapons programs, their missile program, because they couldn't buy parts. They didn't have the high, hard currency. A and a dictator needs hard currency to stay in power. So I would suggest exactly those types of sanctions should now be deployed. I have legislation that I have passed out of the House to do it. Next year, I would hope we could work with the administration in order to have a deterrence in terms of this kind of behavior from North Korea. All right. I want you to stand by, Mr. Chairman. Uh, everybody else, stand by as well. We're following the major.